What's going on everybody? This is George Edwardson with Seed Creative. I uh, just wanted to do a tutorial on rotoscoping in Final Cut Pro 10. Of course, there are plenty of other programs out there this may be a little easier on, but maybe you only have Final Cut Pro 10 um, and you can definitely rotoscope in Final Cut. Uh, so what we're going to do here is just rotoscope me over here. Um, to, you know, give a transparent background. That way we can kind of drop anything we want in behind me. Of course, we are not on a green screen. Um, so how do we do this? It's called rotoscoping. In Final Cut Pro 10, if you go into your effects and go down to masks, you will uh, pick up draw mask right here and drag it onto your clip. So now you'll see that it gives you the option to add a control point. So what we're gonna do is just begin clicking along me, my jacket, and basically we're cutting me out of the frame. I'm gonna try to keep these very simple terms because you may be new to Final Cut, so that's what we're doing. We're cutting me out. Come along around the ear. Maybe we'll speed this up so you don't have to watch all of this. There we go. So as you can see, uh, we're now cut out. There are a few control points that we could probably tidy up and you can absolutely do that um, if you'd like. Uh, you also have all these options within your draw mask if you want to kind of feather that off at all. Um, slide it over. There you go. So maybe we'll feather it down a little bit. Uh, we don't want to make it too obvious that this is... Um, that we are rotoscoping, but all right, here you go. So, so here's here's what rotoscoping is. It's manually keyframing these points um, to to follow my movement. So if you're gonna watch, you'll see that I absolutely leave go. that mask. Here we go. So we need to correct this. The way you do that is you go over into your inspector and you'll see control points. This button right here is to add a keyframe or multiple keyframes is what we're doing. So go ahead and click it and it is now enabled keyframes. So now every time we move any of these, it's going to set a keyframe for those control points. and. Pretty much what you have to do is start at the beginning of your clip, click the right arrow key until you begin seeing some of that movement happen and you can actually see it right there. So you have to go in and just refine those points. You can click and drag a rectangle and you can move the entire mask over. So luckily I kind of held my shape a bit there. I oh, you can see over on the right side though, start losing it. So let's bring those in. As we begin clicking, I start moving more. And this is rotoscoping. This is, this is just part of it. It takes time, it's tedious, but you can, you can really get some cool results. And if you don't have After Effects or something that makes this process a little bit easier with motion tracking, you can definitely do it in Final Cut. All right, so there we go. And now that I have kind of set those points along the frames. This is what it'll look like. Not the most perfect key or I guess rotoscope, but it'll do for now just to give you the, the principle and the concept. So now what this means is we can um, put text or something like that behind me 
in the scene or we can uh i mean essentially replace the background with something else like this city for instance here we go something that i think that we should probably do is maybe feather this just a bit more and change the fall off to help kind of make that a little softer on the sides here we go not terrible could definitely be tighter could definitely be better but again that shows you the principle and this is really fun whenever you are wanting to put text or something like that behind yourself. So what we're gonna do here is turn this bottom layer of draw mask off. So you see we've got the same footage. However, we're gonna put a title layer in between. And you'll see what happens. It looks really cool. Here it is. Hello world. Nice and big. So now why don't we make that fall off and that feather not so harsh. Here we go. Isn't that cool looking? It's like the text is behind me. And I mean, we could go in here and spend forever. The keyframes are still active. So we could get in here and still spend spend our time refining this and making it better. Yeah, it looks a little better right there. It looks pretty good over there. Definitely get rid of that. I made myself skinnier in the process, I suppose. That was a super quick tutorial on rotoscoping. We could spend all day, but I'm sure that you don't want to watch me. I'm sure you don't want to watch me refine this for the next few minutes. So I just wanted you to see how to do it. It is not that difficult. It just takes time. But uh, you can do some really interesting stuff. Adding text behind uh, an object has been pretty popular lately um, I'm a big fan of it I think it looks cool kind of just comes out of nowhere so hope this helps